First half, WKU nursing a 2-0 lead. Just found out from our friends who are broadcasting over on the Grand Valley versus UK game. That game is tied at 1-1. So we will it's at the half, 1-1. So we will keep you all updated on that as we can. Uh, basically, on that last one, we were able to hear that something dramatic was happening. So we'll keep an ear out to see if we can figure out how that scoring is going over there. What was funny to me is that I saw people on this court, like off to the side over the, the, the refs over yes. there, were watching, were watching that game, or at least the, the, the timekeeper was, and he was, he was updating people while they were playing. So people down here on the court were going, oh, it's 1-1. <laughs> Yeah, an upset of Grand Valley would be a monumental day one story, so we'll, we'll keep you updated on how that shapes out. You can also check out the NCDA Facebook page. We have been posting links to the live streams from each of our games all day, so you can check that game out uh, as well as this game, WKU versus VCU. So WKU nursing a 2-0 lead, definitely being the aggressors in this game, and that's what we saw uh, a lack of in the Saginaw Valley game, as we've said already. And I think we're seeing the uh, inverse of that in this game because WKU realizes they're better when they rely a little more on their offense. You know, there's nothing wrong with playing to your strengths, which for WKU is definitely catching, ball control, and uh, typically good effective counters. But that all kind of went out the window in the last game. Alex, give us an update on the injury to the WKU player. Uh, again, nothing serious. Uh, took a shot to the head. No concussion, nothing like that. He had just had one of his contact lenses knocked loose. I called it. So we're fine. Um, I did on the way up here, though, uh, I had a chance to talk to some of the UK players, the lineup from another point of in Grand Valley. They were stony faced, very, very serious. They were kind of having a come to Jesus moment with their captain who said, like, we can do this. Uh, so it's gonna, I'm going to be really interested to hear how the rest of that game goes uh, because in that situation, it'd be very easy to have a team kind of fall to. You know, their hubris getting cocky, like, oh, we took a point from one of the, you know, the reigning champions. Um, or, or just simply being satisfied that you took a point from the uh, reigning national champion. Yeah, and just kind of laming it out from there. All right, so we're starting to see Western with a few more of their patented backcourt throws. Not sure why. Something. I was going to ask you about it. Uh, the player that got, he cut the catch, and the person coming in just walked onto the court and then touched the back. Is that the new rule if they touch the back wall? That back there, that means they're in play? Well, you're supposed to come in through the back baseline. It was at least the way that the rule was when I was around. So I don't know if that's changed. Uh, Felix Peroni is the rule book ace. He would know that rule, the number, the exact language of it, but I'm pretty sure Typically, it's not one of those that's enforced too much, but you're supposed to come in through the back baseline. All right, so again, a, a little more. Oh, wait. Just nice say that. Look at these pushes. I'm impressed. A little more, a little more fight from VCU. This they're being a little more aggressive at this point. I think they realize that you know they if they want to have a shot at winning this game, they've got to be a lot more aggressive. Yeah, and again, it's it's not against their team, but I haven't seen any arms from VCU that I'm too terribly impressed with. Uh, the guy in the left corner was, was their uh, all-star representative. He's got, he's like I said, the guy over here in uh, the backwards hat, uh, he actually just made a really good throw uh, for a kill. So they've got a handful, but I, I'd say Western definitely has them beat in arms. It looks, I think they've got a few more dependable catchers. Uh, okay. Sorry, I didn't see if that was a catch or not. Okay, yeah, okay it was a good killer. Kill yeah, he missed the catch. He missed the catch. Roger that. I've been zooming in on things, so, you know. Ooh, got the fancy camera work from Ben Subcheck. Not so much of I'll, I'll be honest, but hey. Oh, my gosh, there's two guys with backwards hats. I'm wondering, like, how, do I guy keep taking his knee pads off? There we go. There's two of them, that's why. No, it's knee pads and backwards hat. That's a good throw. Whoa! Nice catch, number 35. 35. Let me get my, uh, let me get the uh, roster pulled up, and we'll get some names going. Yeah, let's start getting some names going for our Western Kentucky University Hilltoppers. Um, I'll need to ask Jazzy when he gets back. Now, obviously, VCU, not a team that I'm familiar with. Have you have you seen them in tournament play before, Ben? No. Uh, try, not, try not to sound so disgusted no. when you say, no. No. I, well, you know, this is this is unfortunately not a job for us. If this was a job, I would I would love to make it a job. Okay, hold on, we'll you see. Okay, he called himself out, and that's uh, there was a, a thing like that. I think very easily could have been called a, been called a ground wall, but I haven't heard of any incidences of drama or questionable calls today, which is strange because it feels like when we were playing, there was a 
apparently won in the Central Michigan Kent game that was very controversial. So I don't know any details on that, but I was talking to Bomas. Sounds like there was a pretty, pretty sketchy call during that game. But otherwise, I haven't heard of any others besides that. All right. Let's see. Uh, Ramer's gonna. Josh Ramer's gonna pull up the. Uh, Thirty-five is Evan Murray. So Evan Murray. Great catch by so, yeah, he made a, a great catch off of a fabulous throw. But again, it shows, and I know, that, I know this is something that you're trained against. But I feel like it's. Oh wow. Yeah, he does have an arm on him. It's. Uh, I mean, it's kind of human nature to aim for the chest. You know, anytime you. The biggest target. Yeah, well, it's the biggest target, and when you play, you know, baseball, football, that's where you throw is for the chest. So. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, that was a great catch there by Josh Hicks. I think he's probably had about 10 catches so far this game and this tournament, including the All-Star game. All right, so VCU down by three. Uh, at this point, there's no reason why Western should not be up at that yellow line. They're up two. Right They're up two. Uh, well, no, I mean, VCU's only got three oh, players. Sorry. Um, there's That's no, not what you said. Uh, what, what, I, oh, oh, nice catch. Another one. Brent Schinkel there with the catch. Brent Schinkel with the catch. So two left, two remaining for VCU. One minute, 26 on the clock. See, um, this is the swagger and the aggressiveness that you have to have. If you get floored playing like this, so be it. That was always my philosophy was we're going to play our style. If our style gets us killed 10, nothing, so be it. We weren't meant to beat that team, but you've got to play like this with this kind of swagger against every team, no matter if it's Grand Valley or if it's, you know, some middle school team. Like you've got. Yes. All right, down to one remaining player for VCU here. Oh, sorry, too. I thought that he had, I thought that he was on his way out. That was my mistake. So that was a shot clock violation, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So, oh man, that was unfortunate. A technical foul there. They were lobbing one of the balls over and it hit one of the Western guys. Um, so there's, at this point, this would be, if it was the old Western team, this is where you'd see people jumping across yeah. the midline and getting every <laughs> little bit of threat. Now, obviously, I think in tournament play, I think that's unnecessary. Um, and really, when you're up 2-1, that could almost be portrayed as kind of rude. Yeah, you, you, you need to, you can play aggressive, but you still need to be respectful of the other team. Don't disrespect the other team, yeah. Don't don't be trying to be all flashy and... Are you joking, boys? Right, WKU you go. versus Louisville? Okay, looks like Do that's it. That, that was a national tournament. We don't, we don't talk about those. That's an exposition game. We do uh, we do whatever we want at those. Alright, uh, so that puts us uh, Western 3, VCU nothing. at half. So that'll put us at half at uh, 46 seconds of the